What's going on you guys? I'm Mitchell with Mitchell's Lawn Care. I've got my beautiful girlfriend Hannah here today with me and we are doing a uh, overseeding and turf repair on this section of the ditch. Okay. Um, not expecting much. This is not the best time of year to be seeding, but I'm going to put out some perennial uh, ryegrass uh, and just hope that this works. So uh, as the title suggests, that's what we're going to be doing. Thanks for tuning in. Let's kick this thing off. Alrighty, so as you can see right here, this is the stuff that we're going to be using. Uh, I've got the Spiker Spreaders Drop Spreader, uh, the Land Z Peat Malt Spreader. I've got 50 pounds of annual ryegrass. I've got three, six, nine, uh, whatever, six bags of peat moss. And I've got uh, 200 feet of seed germination blanket. And this is the area that we're going to be putting out the seed peat moss and straw blanket. Like I said, this is not the greatest dirt, so I am hoping that the peat moss will help with this. Um, not the opportune time to be doing this, but I don't really have any choice, so we're just hoping that something will happen. Uh, but anyways, let's get this thing started. All right, so Hannah is going to put the rye grass seed into the spiker spreader. And I had a question the other day about how to adjust, adjust the uh, drop rate on the drop spreader. On the back side right here, there is a little dial. And I don't know if I can get in there. Let's, ah, I can't do it with the camera. But anyway, there's a little dial right there that goes up to eight. So I've always done that as like the number uh, is the pounds per uh, 1,000 square feet. Um, so and if I'm wrong, someone please correct me. But... Uh, we're going to start off with just 25 pounds for now and if we need more we will add more but hannah is evenly dispersing this across the two bins Doing a great job, baby. So you may be wondering why I chose the drop spreader instead of a broadcast spreader, just because it's such a smaller area. I didn't want to throw a bunch of uh, seed into these rocks um, and didn't really need to waste it uh, in the areas where there's already grass. So I just wanted to focus on uh, this bare area and the drop spreader is perfect for just of course it just drops it straight down so it doesn't get broadcast anywhere that you don't want it hey if y'all think if y'all think she's doing a great job give the video a thumbs up so we, we love hannah being on the channel as soon as she gets done uh, we're going to load up the lanzi spreader and coat this thing as good as we can with peat moss This is peat moss. It's great for a top dressing. Um, I like to use this in place of straw whenever I can because you don't get the weed seed in it. Uh, this is the Lanzi spreader, available at lanzi.com. Description will be, uh, the details for this will be in the description down below. Uh, I've used it a couple times before and it works wonderfully as you will see. Um, it will hold about 
one and a half cubic yards. This is a three cubic yard, I'm sorry, three cubic foot bag. It'll hold about uh, 1.5. drier the peat moss, the better. I should have had my gloves on. All right. And then it's just as simple as rolling it out. show you this is what this is good for right here that this is what it keeps from going on the turf this big chunky stuff that you don't want so all of the good stuff gets filtered through and then all of this is filtered out the land z will hold right at 1.5 simple as two little clips and then I recommend picking it up and putting it where you want it otherwise if you roll it it's going to start dispersing the material and then it's just as simple as pushing it so easy a woman can do it didn't do the due diligence and get out here and measure this area so I was just winging it so I've got just enough of the germination blanket to do this little slope incline part part uh, but I may have to come back with some more straw to do the the top section which not too worried about um, but uh got to get on this because Hannah has challenged me to a seed germination race. rollout race you're gonna lose mm -hmm. teamwork makes the dream work baby And I'm, I'm pinning this in with uh, these little landscaping pins, little staples, yard staples. And there's really no rhyme or reason or rules on it. I'm doing it about every, I don't know, six or eight feet with a natural staple installer. <laughs> this will help give the seedlings something to grab onto and also help slow down the erosion that's happening over here on this little bank. And we ended up having more of this than I thought. So we're gonna be able to do the little top area up there. And you want a little bit of a overlap on these. Pin down both strips with one staple.
and hopefully if we get the right temperatures and the right conditions in 14 days give or take a few we'll uh, see some seedlings pop up if nothing else it's gonna make us feel better that we did it and a big waste of money all right you guys so we're done completely with the seed germination blanket we've rolled all of it out our agreement was that the loser was going to put all the pins in and tamp it down and I'm not gonna talk about who lost because good winners don't do that anywho here is Mitchell finishing up pinning down the blanket you want to Talk about what you're doing? Uh, what losers do. <laughs> Putting staples in the blanket. <laughs> it puts the staples in the blanket. But we're almost done. This uh, whole project took about an hour, if that. And it ain't perfect, but it's good enough and we should get some some germination all right you guys Hannah and I have knocked out this project uh, just a quick recap put out perennial ryegrass 25 pounds uh, did uh, three six nine twelve cubic feet of peat moss saved two bags and I got a bag of ryegrass, uh, ryegrass left over I'm gonna return that and then put out um, four rolls of the 4x50 seed germination blank, blanket. Um, could have stood to have uh, one more roll um, and you'll see why right here. So there are, uh, there's still a, a large bare area right here, but the, the main goal was to get the, the slopes or the banks covered up. So, and I actually got way more of it covered up than uh, originally thought. So, um, hopefully, like I said before, this should uh, start to germinate um, within, you know, 10 to 14 days uh, with, with good conditions. It is warm today. We've got some rain and some wintry mix coming uh, this week. So hopefully, fingers crossed, this will do something and it's not going to be a waste of money and time. Um, but I'm very thankful uh, this uh, Red Hot Sexy Mama right here helped me out. And y'all can follow her on Instagram at hjhj the Minx. Uh, all that information is in the description down below of each video in case you forget. So um, if you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up. If you want to see Hannah on more videos, give it a thumbs up. Uh, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, what are you waiting on? Hit that little notification bell so you know the next time that I upload a video. Hope you guys have a wonderful day. And anything to say? Just follow if you want to see Mitchell lose some more. <laughs> we'll see you next video.